What's up guys? Tony Rican here and today I'm gonna make a cool little holiday dessert. I'm gonna be making a coquito cheesecake. You know exactly what this is, don't you? That's right. This is awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Remember guys, if you love all the cool content I'm putting out here on my channel, the easiest way to make sure it keeps on rolling and help the channel grow is just hit like and share on this video. Drop a comment down below, then go ahead and subscribe and share my YouTube channel. That way, every Monday and Friday you get a brand new, really cool, simple recipe just like this Coquito Cheesecake, which to start, I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees, and then I'm going to work on the crust. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some graham crackers, throw them in a food processor and get about two cups of crumbs. Um, to the crumbs, I'm going to add some sugar and cinnamon and get that all mixed together. Then I'll mix in some melted butter and pack it down into my springform pan. Now I've got it packed up the side, so I got about half of the uh, sides of my pan covered. I'm gonna pop this in my oven for about 10 minutes and the crust is done. With my crust done and the pan cooled a little bit, I'm gonna wrap the bottom in tin foil. And with that, I'm ready to start working on the batter. I'm gonna take some cream cheese, sugar, Cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little bit of salt and get this beat together until it's smooth. Then I'll add my vanilla and eggs one at a time. Then last, I'm going to add my coquito and some cornstarch and finish mixing it together. We'll pour our batter on top of our crust. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop this in a large baking pan that I put hot water in. So it comes to about halfway up my springform pan and I'll let that bake in my preheated oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. Once that cheesecake's done baking, what you're going to want to do is turn off the heat, prop your oven open and let it cool like that for about an hour. Then remove the cheesecake pan from that water bath, take the foil off and let it cool to room temperature for about another 35, 40 minutes. That's when you go ahead and pop it in the fridge and let it sit for a couple of hours. Now, while all that cooling is going on, I'm going to make a cool coquito topping. For this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another cup of coquito, put it in my saucepan. Over a low heat, I'm going to get this to simmer to cook some of that rum off. Now, you don't want a high heat because you don't want it to curdle. So you're going to just keep it on a low heat, constantly whisking it. While that's going, I'm going to prep my slurry. I'm going to take a tablespoon of coquito and a tablespoon of cornstarch and after that simmered for about 10 minutes I'll mix those together and let it continue to simmer until it thickens up. Once my cheesecake and topping have both had some time to cool I'll go ahead and ladle some of that topping over the cheesecake sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon sugar and this one is ready to serve. And that's it guys, this little holiday dessert is done. Just take a look at how it came out. It freaking looks awesome. My crust looks perfect, that topping looks good, the cheesecake is amazing. But you know, I can't just look at this, I gotta go ahead and dig in and give this one a try. Hmm. Guys, 
This is freaking heaven. If you like Coquito, if you like cheesecake, heck, if you've never tried Coquito or cheesecake, you need to have this. If you need step-by-step -step printable instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Head over to my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even $1 to help this content keep rolling out. Heck, if you like this awesome t-shirt I'm wearing, check out Reconstruction Wear. I'll drop their link down below because that's where I bought this and I love this Coquico t-shirt. So go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time. Mm. Mm.